What's up, you guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric Smells, and thank you once again for joining me here today. And in today's pickup slash review video, I did want to go over a recent purchase that I have made um, on a pair of Asics, and I'm super excited because this is a new silhouette for them. And you know, with any new silhouette, you get questions about how they fit, how they look on feet. Um, so, which is you know a big portion of why I make these videos. So today, I'm going to be going over the Asics Gel NYC. And this is going to be in the white and steel gray colorway. Um, I went ahead just before, and I will talk about sizing later in the video, but I went with a 7.5, which is my true uh, sneaker size, which is what I do in a lot of New Balances and stuff like that. Too, so. And uh, full disclosure, this is actually my first pair of Asics, and I'm super excited about that. Um, you know, I've just been on the fence about it. I obviously have tried to go for a lot of the collabs and stuff like that. Um, specifically like that, the How Studios collab um, pair, um, some of the Awake pairs as well too. So, you know, that kind of lures you into the brand and then you can kind of start looking into them and looking at some of their, their GRs and stuff like that, which is how I found these. So, as you can see off rip, it has that kind of, that sneaker, that gym shoe kind of like that mesh runner kind of look. So, if you're looking for something in that, you know, that kind of a New Balance kind of world, um, but you're kind of tired of just paying $200 retail seemingly for all these shoes. Um, these pair of Asics did retail at $130, which I think is honestly, you know, after wearing them as well too, I'm paying that all day. That is, um, that's a great price point to just, you know, if you want the look and the comfort, but you're not trying to pay up $200 for that. So yeah, let's get right into it. And part of, you know, what was keeping me on the fence about buying into Asics was I wasn't sure of the quality. I wasn't sure of the comfort. And I managed, I was I um, was just in Las Vegas the other week and I wore these like the whole weekend, literally like standing, sitting all day. And these are super, super comfy. Um, I, I put them up there with New Balance, honestly, with just the comfort that I did feel on these. Um, with the exception of, I think, the, the 990 V6s, those are still hands down like the, their most comfy shoe. But yeah, honestly, for what you're paying, this is honestly a great pair and you know they're gonna be my new dailies honestly so get right into it got this suede and you see some movement you see it kind of suede lined throughout the shoe got suede on the back so yeah no surprises you have your you know your standard mesh honestly these were like my PE shoes back in the day Got good stitch work on the logo. And of course their gel technology, all their sole, all that goes into there. Super comfy. Um, I, I would be interested in getting like action shots of like the squish on this, but yeah, not overly uh, squishy, but still really firm as well too. So like I said, I'm new to the Asics game, so I wasn't familiar with the gel technology and that was, you know, I was kind of like, I don't know, in my mind I was equating like, oh, it's cheaper, so it's probably not as comfy, but you fuck all that, like, you can get that for, for a good price, so. Yeah, all throughout, and you got the logo right there, and pretty squishy, pretty padded as well, too, got the Asics logo in there, and once again, I did get these in a 7.5, which is my true sneaker size. And they fit perfectly and you can even kind of see like how let me see if i can get that on camera yeah how transparent the the mesh is so these are super breathable honestly like gonna be the perfect summertime springtime shoe um and just a little bit of um you know lineage on this because this is a new silhouette for them obviously they didn't just come up with this design out of the you know nothing exists in a vacuum so they did uh, draw some inspiration they were reaching in the vault for a few different shoes um for this silhouette so they drew inspiration from the uh, Gel Nimbus 3s, and I will post pictures of these um, on the video as well, but the Gel Nimbus 3s and the Gel Cumulus 16s, which honestly, um, and I'll post a picture of those too, I can definitely see it specifically on that, that silhouette, which is super cool, you know, whenever brands do reach into the vault and they, because I, I, that's what I like personally. You can't just make sometimes making a brand new silhouette out of whatever um, may not always be the the best move. You know, you got to incorporate some familiar aspects to it. So I definitely do appreciate that, that this is a, you know, it is a very modern shoe, but it also has that retro kind of, you know, inspiration from it too. So 
yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just show you guys, as always, a little bit of fits on that. I will um, also talk about sizing on that because I know that I do get a lot of questions about sizing. I'll try and answer that in that portion of the video. And if you have any other questions about that, just shoot them in the comments. Like I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody and answering any questions like that too. So, oh, and yeah, I, before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and link a video in the description. I'm um, doing a little bit of research on this shoe. I was able to find a person who um, reviewed like a, or unboxed a like vintage pair of, um, not the gel, not the Cumulus 16s, the Nimbus 3s. I'll go ahead and post a picture of that, but like a 2000s pair, so super dope. And, you know, it's dope seeing that kind of, you know, how many, you know, how they used to look back in the day and stuff like that too. And, you know, the guy, it's, the video's been up for a little while and, you know, just show the guy some love because I think that's really dope. Um, I'll go ahead and link that in the video. But yeah, so yeah, without any further ado, let me just get right into the fits. So for the first fit, I do have the gel NYCs on feet. I do have a pair of Uniqlo socks, you know, the usual. Um, and as for my shorts, I do have a pair of Bare Knuckles uh, jorts that they did drop like not even too long ago. Super dope. Summer essential. Um, and I do have a dime jersey uh, t-shirt that I did actually thrift not too long ago. So I'm super excited about that personally. It's like 15 bucks. Like, I think that was like not even a season ago or like, you know, a year ago, maybe. They're tripping. But yep, yeah, definitely more of a summer boy fit. So for the second fit, I do have once again the gel NYC's on feet, and I do have these lovely pair of needles HD pants, um, this like beautiful olive colorway. Honestly, any pretty much any texture you can get these for a good price, I definitely recommend them. They are so dope. Um, and I do have a pair of um, not pair. I have a Stussy and Denim Tears uh, pullover collab. So super dope. Has that kind of like the Jamaica Queens on the front, Stussy logo on the back. And topped off with a capital bucket hat. So, yeah, definitely a fall boy, big olive boy fit. So, let me know how I did. So, for this portion of the video, I did want to talk about sizing in general. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, um, with any new silhouette sizing and how they fit on your feet is definitely going to be a big question about that. So, um, I went true to size in my sneaker size. So, seven and a half is typically what I wear in most Nikes, New Balance. Um, some Adidas, I do wear that, but I went seven and a half and they fit perfect. There's no, I don't have that much wiggle room in the toe room. Um, there's no heel slippage, anything like that. So they're going to feel really firm on my feet. And I suggest that you do do that as well. Um, if you have any more kind of narrow or more wide feet, I definitely go ahead and try on a pair at, at any kind of local store that you may have. Um, and if you didn't have anything like that and you're shopping online and you just want to maybe compare it with something that you may have in your closet, I went ahead and I grabbed some similar um, kind of silhouettes just to see how I wear them in, in that size and how they compare to that. So. so for the running shoe, that kind of workout shoe kind of world, obviously New Balance is going to be a big competitor. So I went ahead and I grabbed a pair of 2002 R's that I also got in a seven and a half just so you can compare the two. So obviously the uh, the gel NYCs are gonna be a little bit more narrow. The 2002R is a pretty wide friendly foot, uh, a wide friendly foot shoe. And you can definitely tell that, um, but both seven and a half, you can see they're lengthwise, they are good. Um, and if you don't have a pair of those, I did grab a pair of 990 V3s, same exact size. And definitely more comparable in terms of how narrow um, but you as you can see the height is and these might be a little bit like a hair longer but both seven and a half um, and I do have the 990 uh, v6s so the brand new ones if you do have that you know why you gotta flex on like on honest like that and um, just comparing those now, I, I have to mention, these I actually sized, I found that the 990s uh, V6s ran a lot longer than the other ones. So I actually sized down to a 7 in these, which is my first New Balance that I've really done that to. So, and I can definitely feel like it fits more true. So yeah, look at that. So this is size 7, this is size 7.5. So, and if you don't have any of those shoes, I did grab some other things. So a pair of Solomon. Um, 
XT6s. And this is the opposite. I actually sized a little bit up on these guys to a size 8. But, you know, you can compare the narrowness. Of, oh, no, this is even more narrow. But the length. Kind of wild. Every, every kind of brand does have their own. You know, their sizing is a little off, personally. And if you don't have any of those, I do also have a pair of Sambas. Which in Sambas, I do size down to a size 7. Just because they, same problem as the the uh, V6s, they just run long. They look, and they, I don't know, to my eyes, they just look a little long when I'm, when I'm wearing them. So you may feel different. So definitely the smaller of the two, but I definitely think these should be like your most like true to size. So those are a pair of Sambas. And yeah, guys, so I, again, I'd say true to size. If there was something that I didn't compare them to, maybe some Nikes. Um, some Jordans, some Converse, anything like that. Just ask me in the comments and I'll be I'll be sure to kind of do my best to compare that. But in every other shoe, so like I said, Nikes and Jordans, I do do 7.5 as well. Converse and Vans, I do go size 7. So similar to the Sambas, you know, when it's the more basic a shoe, the less cushioning they have, I tend to go size down um, just because it's just the rubber and the material on the shoe. So I don't really like to feel a little bit extra on that. So any other kind of like padded up shoe i will go seven and a half and I, like i said i do recommend that you do that so so once again that was the a6 gel nyc hopefully you did enjoy the close-up shots of these guys hopefully you did enjoy the sizing um portion of that if you have any further questions about that drop them in the comments and i'll be sure to address that and hopefully you did enjoy the styling portion as always that is one of my favorite things to do for you guys uh, let me know how i did on that by the way were they bricks did i fuck up the fits were they too generic? Um, did you actually mess with them? Is this something that you would incorporate into there? Uh, you let me know how I did. And I just think, honestly, like I've been just saying the whole video, like these are so easy to style and anyone's gonna look fly in these. You know, you are gonna look fly, your mama's gonna look fly, your grandpa's gonna look fly, your little sister's gonna look fly, pretty much anybody's gonna look fly in these guys. So not at all a hard shoe to style. And if these are a little too basic for you, they got plenty of colorways. So I'll go ahead and drop um, as always, the description in the description, I'll drop um, some places that you can pick these up. Um, I kind of look around, like I said, in, in your local area, if there's any kind of sneaker boutiques or anything like that that may carry it because they do go on sale. And I notice a, with a lot of newer silhouettes, it takes a while for people to really get used to it. So if you're really early on that, you can definitely snag some for um, for sale. So. Um, and yeah guys so what do you guys think about the the collection you know were, were they dope um do you not mess with them are they too ugly um i think they're perfect i think this is a perfect blend of like that modern take mixed in with that kind of retro runner because you know um i definitely you don't want to get stuck like nike where they're just re-retroing literally the exact same shoe for god knows how long without any kind of um innovation same with New Balance, you know, they, they, a lot of their silhouettes that you're seeing are actually brand new, you know, they just have those kind of retro um, detailing um, things about them too, so. And one thing I did forget to mention, there was a um, another collaboration that I did mention that I forgot to mention on these guys, apart from the Awake pair, there was, and it was even in this exact same colorway, and I'll drop a picture here, but they're by an artist by the name of Cecile Bassen. Hopefully I did uh, pronounce her name right. I'll go ahead and post that there you know beautiful work and as always you know they're, they're killing it so yeah guys hopefully you'd enjoy that video i'm gonna stop blabbering and hopefully enjoy the rest of your day peace